The United States Constitution in Article 4, Section 4 says that the United States shall guarantee to every state in this union a Republican form of government. Now add that to the Tenth Amendment. The Tenth Amendment, and basically let me paraphrase what the Tenth Amendment says. The Tenth Amendment is the people telling the federal government, hey, any powers that we forgot to give you in the United States Constitution, and any powers that we forgot to tell you that you don't have, well, just to be on the safe side, you don't have any of those powers either. That's right. Article 1, Section 3 of the United States Constitution. The Senate of the United States shall be composed of two senators from each state chosen by the legislature thereof. The whole reason behind the legislator, the legislative branch within the state government, appointing their U.S. senators, that prevents a whole host of problems. U.S. senators at that time, they weren't allowed to make campaign promises, first of all. Second of all, they were appointed, which means they discussed federal affairs with state legislators because the states had an interest in protecting their sovereignty. That's the whole reason behind Article 1, Section 3. Article 2, Section 2. That's how we govern our treaties. How we make treaties. Well, guess what? The Congress doesn't really have any say in treaties, but you know who does have a say? The United States Senate. The reason is, is because if we're going to compromise national sovereignty, the states sure better have a say in whether or not they want to compromise their sovereignty. So all this talk about the federal government being so big, the federal government's really in charge. That's bogus, 100% baloney. Of course, the federal government would like for all of us to believe that, but it's not true. Because we can govern ourselves better when we do it ourselves.